If you are thinking about having your own teeth whitening business, you know, you've thought about it, you've seen that other people are doing it. And clearly, if you're a part of this group, you can see that there's many people either doing it or are interested in it. Let me tell you a few things that what whitening business owners really don't tell you or maybe don't share with you, but that's my job. That's what I do. I am here to train people, right? So basically what we don't tell you is that you have to remember that things aren't going to be perfect right away. You know, you can't expect to get 50 clients your first day out there, your first day opening up your teeth whitening business. You can't expect to be perfect. And you also can't expect to not make mistakes. You know, you have just finished your, your clinical testing. You are working on people for the first time. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to not do every step perfectly. You're not going to be perfect. As with any first day on the job, you're not going to be perfect, but you have the skills in place to be safe, not do your client any harm and do the whitening procedure effectively, right? But on the feeling aspect, I want you guys to remember that I didn't become a successful teeth whitening technician day one or day two. I've been doing this since I was 19. So it's been a while since I was 19 years old. I've been whitening teeth as a dental assistant. When I started my own business, I didn't have 50 clients the first day, the first month, whatever. Things take time, but with social media these days, it is easier than ever. So I really want you guys to utilize that. But I don't want you guys to think you have to be perfect and that you're not going to fail and that your business is not going to be successful if you don't get 50 clients right away. These things take time, but I give you guys the steps, the tools, how to market and advertise effectively so you will be very successful very soon. But I also want you guys to remember that owning your own business isn't the easiest thing either. That's why everybody doesn't do it. Some people prefer to have a nine to five job. They clock in and clock out and they don't have to think about it anymore. When you own your own business, you might be checking emails more often than before. You might be checking your social media accounts more often than before. You might have, have upset clients sometimes. You might have amazing clients other times. You might be working weekends. You might be working evenings over the holidays to fit people in to make that money. If you're client doesn't show, you don't make money. If you get more clients, if you get more people, more referrals, you will love it that much more because it's for your business. So I would not take that away from anything. I would not work for somebody else, even if they paid me. It's definitely a roller coaster, up and downs, having your own business, but it's the best thing ever. So just keep in mind, it's a roller coaster. You're going to be happy some days, not so happy some other days. You're, you're going to be confused. You're going to be frustrated but then you're also going to feel amazing because at the end of the day, you have your own business making your own money. It's truly an amazing thing. So you guys, if you're on the fence about having your own teeth whitening business because you think you can't do it, everybody else can, but you can't, you think it looks too hard. You're worried about the expenses. You're worried about making money. You're worried about getting clients. Try not to worry so much about that because you can actually worry too much where you don't actually do it. And if I worried too much and didn't actually start my business, oh my goodness, I don't even know where I would be. I don't know what I would be doing and I don't know what type of money I'd be making. But because I pushed through my concerns and my worries, I am now making an excellent income. Money isn't something that I have to worry about and I'm happy. That's kind of number one. I love my job and I'm happy. I feel sorry for those people. You might be one of them right now, depending on what job you have. You might be one of them right now where you have to wake up at 5 a.m., out the door at 6 a.m. It's still dark outside. It's cold right now. It's winter time. I feel sorry for those people. I was up early the other day because I couldn't sleep at like 4 a.m. And there were people like starting their cars. And I thought, oh my God, I'm so glad that's not me. I love my job. I love what I do. And I love being flexible. So let me help you guys. Okay. Sometimes you just have to push through it. Let me know if you guys need anything. Comment below and I'll see you guys in the next one.